In this vast universe, there are unexplainable things. Things that even when we see them with our own eyes, we cannot believe. Weird, mysterious, dark things that would send a shiver down the spine of even the bravest man. This is not one of those things. These goddamn aliens stole my cows. I am the Polish Apple, and welcome to the process video for my alien abduction poster. Enjoy. It took me a while to get this very simple concept done, but I love how the result came out. It's got a very clean, very simple visual to it that I think works very well for the piece. Starting off, you can see me trying the first background by filling in the sky to continue it up. After the background is done, I drop in a bunch of farm-related items to get started on what I thought I wanted out of this poster, but most of these things get scrapped later on because it becomes way more than I wanted out of the piece, kind of cluttered honestly. After everything is dropped in, I start blending it into the environment, trying to make it look organic and like it had just been placed or built there. After everything had been blended in, I then isolated the sky so I could replace it with stars. And with this first background, the sky is the thing I struggled with the most in getting it to look good, and was most of the reason I decided to switch to a different background later on. Out of everything I had to scrap from this first attempt, this fence that I ended up doing is probably the thing I was the most sad to lose, but I think it would have looked out of place in the final product. I had created the flying saucer before I thought to record my process, but I used a series of plates and bowls with a metal texture over the top of it to create it. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Now the part of the process where my vision, I think, really starts to show. I wanted it to look like the saucer was tearing off the roof of the barn and abducting cows out of it, and I started by figuring out where I wanted the tractor beam to be placed. I added a bunch of sparks coming out of the bottom of the flying saucer to make it look more alien and mechanical, like something inside the ship was firing off. I added a dust particle texture and then started placing the cows and shading them in. After the cows were finished for now, comes the part of the piece I am the most proud of and the thing I worked the hardest to make look good, tearing the roof off of the barn. The process was very simple. I cut out pieces of the barn, warped them, and distorted them, added edges to some, and just generally tried my best to make the roof look as realistically damaged as I could. This was a tedious process, and in the end, it might not look 100% realistic, but it's good enough that I think it works. I added cast shadows to make the pieces look lit up by the tractor beam, and the barn was done for now. Here you can see me trying to make the edges of the trees look more organic and natural, but again, I scrapped the entire background because I just hated it. I struggled to find a background I liked, but in the end I found this photo and loved how gloomy it was, so this is the one I went with. I went back into my old file and copied the barn, saucer, and cows and dropped them into the new file so I didn't have to redo that part. I cleaned up the ground by using content aware fill to get rid of some of the flowers closer to the viewer and then extended the sky upwards to fill out the background. 
In order to do this, I had to copy clouds and paste them higher up, blending them into the rest of the sky. I immediately ended up putting stars over the top of this, so this step was pointless, but oh well. Putting the stars in, I had to isolate the sky, cleaning up the edge of the trees in the process, so I had a clean mask in order to be able to drop the stars in. The sky is going to look weird for a while, but we're moving on to getting the barn and cows and saucer situated. I thought that I had recorded the part of the process where I edited the waviness into the tractor beam, but I can't find that recording anywhere, no matter where I looked. So here we are now, jumping forward a bit. The background looks really weird right now, so I find a nighttime photo and match the color of my background to the color of that photo to make the nighttime look more realistic. After the background is where I like, I move into making the tractor beam look better first by doing the part underneath the barn. I was also not liking how you couldn't see any of the red in the barn, so I fixed that and also made it so the cast shadows on everything were a little less harsh. The tractor beam was looking a little weird, so I dropped in some of these ripples and started positioning those in the beam. I still use these, but I end up dropping the ripples into Illustrator and using the Image Trace tool there to smooth out the ripples before dropping them back into Photoshop to use. I went around the edges of all of the barn pieces and blurred them just a little bit to cut down on the sharpness, did a few more little tweaks here and there, and then dropped my signature into the lower right corner. And with that, this poster is done. Everything from the colors to the subject matter turned out exactly how I wanted in this piece, and I couldn't be happier. It might be a little simpler than I initially had in mind, but I think that works really well for the poster in the end. I absolutely love doing posters and photo manipulations like this, and if you like this video, please subscribe so that you can keep up with my shenanigans, both gaming and creative. I am the Polish Apple, and I'll see you next time.